Hello, everybody. I am the player Phoenix, and today, uh, tonight, we are playing. We were still getting up a session from Euro U U4 because it was more inform informative things to castle. Mm -hmm. But now we're gonna do some gameplay. Plus, not gonna be expected long because we have some other plans to do. We have busy things for the weekend. Yep. So. Yeah, unfortunately, I kind of saw it coming that we're gonna have a fuck ton of exposition, uh, and then we're gonna play only a little bit, but. We'll get yeah. into it in another session, I'm sure. Yeah, because like I said, we got some things to do for the weekend anyways. Yeah, it's a, a difficult game to explain quickly, so... Well, it had to be explained for newber, newcomers for 2021 or 22, mm -hmm. but also someone like me who never touched it. Mm-hmm. So... So... What's our mean? Well, we check the armor first. Just keep that in mind. Ah, so yeah. So one other thing we gotta do... Uh, before we kind of kick off, is not actually create an army, but we got to set up the templates. We got to make sure that our armies are correctly made. There is a correct way to make an army, uh, and that basically is how many infantry units are in each army for the time period, how many cavalry units are in each army, and how many artillery armies are uh, units. Unfortunately, we don't even have artillery because the first artillery has yet to be invented, but uh, so we're only going to do one army template, uh, which I've named the early 15th, uh, just to show that it's the earliest, uh, just because it's the early 15th century army that you should be making. So please go to your production interface. Uh, on any, any, on any, or on just Production like interface, meaning uh, the thing next, the, next to your flag. Please go to the first one, land units. I'm on it. All right, so you see how they're the three tabs, recruit regiments, yes. recruit mercenaries, and, re and define army templates? Yes. All right, go to templates. We'll, we can talk about mercenaries just a little short, uh, shortly once we get this done. All right. In there. So it should say create template, click create template, name it whatever the hell you want. I personally make it simple and name it after the time period that I'm doing it for, which in this case is the early 15th century, or early 15th or early 15th cent, whatever you want to do. So you just name it first off. And I sent you that handy dandy little thingy thing. That's not it. Uh, which comes down to, let's see, what is the first one? 15th century, no cannons, 12 infantry, and four cavalry. So uh, go to that first little spot there. It shows like the person with a spear and the person with a gun. Uh, that's your infantry. Uh, go up to 12. Already Once did. you've done that, all right, go to the cavalry, go up to four. Done. Did you said four or five? Four. And we can't do anything with artillery, so we don't do anything with that. All right. All right, and once it's named and you have all the units set up like that, press the save button. So are you in there now? All right, so that's the only one we can do for right now. But we will be doing more in a bit because we have another lot of technology for artillery, and that kind of allows us to pre-plan a little bit. Um, let's see here. First and foremost, uh, all right, mercenaries. So let's look in the mercenaries just a little bit. Click the recruit mercenaries tab. All right. So mercenaries are kind of useful for everyone but the Ottomans. <laughs> uh, the Ottomans, generally, you should be using your own soldiers at all times. Uh, mercenaries are basically you pay a fuck ton of money for them to die instead of you. Uh, it saves your manpower, basically. Which, honestly, you could probably use the Ottomans, too. I've just never used them. Uh, there's really not much more to it than that. Um, they're, they're expensive. They have, like, unique names, apparently. Uh, some of them will disappear. Some of them will reappear. There's not much you can do with them otherwise. <clears throat> so, click on the nearest army. Where? You have it selected. The nearest army in your area. So if you want to go to your uh, list over there, just click on the first army that you have. Okay. What should be the, the UL infirmary? No, infantry? But I'm still in recruitment. Uh, what, I, I'm sorry, out of all menus, just in uh, on your list at the top right. You see that? 
Not really. It's somewhere in that list. It's somewhere in that list, assuming your list isn't just gone. Uh, they mean a military tag? It should have, like, diplomats, merchants, armies, navies, estates. <laughs> On your top right, remember? The thing I was telling you about before where you can see where your rebels are. Oh, the rebel, the rebel area. Oh, yes, right there. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so there should be a section labeled armies somewhere. Yep. Okay, click on the top one. And then if you want to zoom in to look at your pretty army again. I got it. Awesome. Yes, he looked very cool. So this is an individual army stack. This comprises of really randomness. <clears throat> so can you please tell me how many infantry and cavalry you have in that army? This one's 12,000 4,000. Oh, really? It's already made. Okay. This one's 16,000 army. Next Lucky. one's 14,000 army. Okay, go to the 14,000 one. Alrighty. I have 10,000 okay. 10, and 4,000. Awesome. Okay, so, uh, like I said, this is the individual army. Uh, there's two things you really need to worry about here. Those, that green bar and that black bar. Do you see that? I see it. Morale and army drill. Morale. Morale is basically army health. Uh, if they lose that, they lose the battle. Uh, you should always have that at 100% outside of battle unless you're drilling, in which case you get zero morale, basically. Um, next to that is army drill. Army drill is basically how prepared they are for combat. Uh, army morality. drill is... Yes, yes, they're always going to be zero at the start. Um, the, this is the average drill, uh, army drill of the regiments. Army drill is increased by drilling armies to improve your regiment skill in battle. It is, it decays pretty quickly. Um, so that is something you generally want to keep as high as possible outside of combat. So uh, outside of war, I mean. So when I'm not in war, keep it zero. So that should be as high as possible outside of war. Uh, you are between war you have to get that up because it takes a while to get up and then once you're at war it'll start diminishing and once you're done with the war you should get back to it to rebuild that oh, so but you say no war prep again just keep prepping and then we're at war let them go nuts correct unless you economically cannot sustain your army which is a problem mm -hmm. so uh you're looking at that army still correct yes sir Okay, so you see all those grayed out buttons on the right? Yes, sir. Go all the way to the bottom. The one that looks like a little dummy. Army, you... army drill. Can I drill a battle yes. leader? All right, that's kind of what I thought. This is the button you'll have to click. Now here's the thing, it needs a leader. So you see where it says no leader at the top? Click okay. it. And now do you see a person's name? Hamdim Sabine, yes. Awesome, click that. It'll assign the leader. And then hit the drill. Hit the drill. Um, go to your other army. Same thing? Yes, go to no leader if they don't have one. No, there's only one leader. Now here's the, here's the one thing. One. You shouldn't yeah. have a le another leader, so what you got to do is you're going to have to recruit a general. Uh, do you have 50 military power? I have 54 military power. Awesome. So the top thing, recruit a general. Right. Just, just choose name or random. I don't think it matters, no. Sure. Okay. Then click click that guy to the make your leader and make them drill. Yes. Uh, now, the two important things about drilling, one we've already talked about, the actual army drill. That's basically how each unit is actually prepared for combat. You can see that with literally each unit as well. Like, uh, for me, this, uh, I don't even know, the Jane's first regiment, uh, it actually has a bar there that shows you their army drill. You see that? I see I'm my army drill, which is zero. And I'm yeah, so uh, next to each individual unit there, you see the unit list. There should be one. There should be a bar next to each unit. Yep. So you can actually see each individual units as well. Yep. <clears throat> so uh, the other important button here is up top. You see go to. Yes. Go down to where it says there are no friendly transport ships in the port. Gotcha. Go to the right one. Conform to template. Yes. So that button, if you click it, you basically can set 
your uh, shit, your the your unit. Switch the one I click is already mapped. Yes. The other one I got. Yes. So. Yeah. Go to the other one and ma uh, and conform to template. Uh, whatever you name that first one. Uh, oh, really? And that will, if you can't click it, it might be because you don't have enough money, or it might be I, because I you don't have enough manpower. I don't know. But if you did it, that means you just saved yourself a bunch of hassle. And now it's automatically filling to that. Now, the other way you could do this, you see how it says, uh, it has like the infantry and then it has the number, but there's a plus button above it. Uh, depending on uh, You see infantry like uh, just in your normal um, uh, unit view? Oh, the unit view, the infantry view. Yes. So you see that button? Yes, or build in the Yes, so. You would click that individually for each unit. But since you did a template. You did a template, so it automatically did it. Uh, the number that is outside of parentheses is how many there actively are. The number in parentheses are, are how many there will be in that army once it's finished building. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. It's important to realize this. You can still fully use that army well, while stuff's being built. The thing is, the moment you move it off of that territory, it no longer is part of that army that you're building into. You're basically making it into its own stack. So you'll have to basically uh, put them in the same territory, uh, click and drag all of them, and then press the G button to group them into one army. Okay. And that's not something important now. So without further fucking ado, we shall unpause. Yeah. Are you prepared? Yes, I am. Are you ready? Two hours and how many minutes later? Yeah. We begin. Time is advancing. Oh my god, it's so scary. Okay, so, so uh, yeah, on the you're gonna have to pause and stand right away. Has been lowered. That's lagging behind. Are you serious? It's gonna fucking lag the moment I started it. Nice. Bot reports. Dark pirates of the night raided a cost. Boy. Okay, so you're gonna get that a lot. That basically means that there's these, there's a little country. Uh, if you look up the island of Rhodes, R O R H O D E S, and the Rhodes in the F menu. I got Casabella on me now. Yes, you see, you see that uh, that island though, the Rhodes. Oh, then I just got another check one time. We have to hurl and form my hurl, hurl. Form the this is a faction. I don't know what you, I can't understand what you're saying. What are you saying? Herald from the Joffrey. Ah. Herald from okay. So Herald basically probably means that someone's trying doing diplomacy with you in some way, however that means. Okay. So let's have pause again. Things are gonna pop up. Uh, if it looks like you can interact with it, then tell me. Otherwise, you can just quickly read it. Uh, and if you feel it's necessary to tell me, then tell me. So what are you looking up for? Uh, if if something pops up on your screen. Uh, Held for from another one. Domination or go to damnation. Ooh. Damnation probably is fine. So That's damnation great. usually is just saying like, okay, continue. Uh, you're gonna, as the Ottomans, a lot of people around you join the quick trade leagues a lot. Trade leagues basically are kind of like defensive pacts, uh, but for weak people <laughs> in the best way possible. So as of right now, should we put, should we put on the pause one, pause one then? Because it's going this fast. Oh, it's it's actually really not going that fast. It's just a lot of shit's popping up for you really quickly. Uh, think there, uh, the thing you, you got to realize with this game is there are a lot of pop-ups, and reading all of the pop-ups is going to take a fuck ton of time. So frankly, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so how should we prepare for war for the Kazakhstan? So you're not going to worry about them. The first war Will you're going to deal with... By raid by rebels? The first war you're going to deal with outside of your own rebels is Byzantium. There's a lot of history between Byzantium and Ottomans. Uh, Byzantium is basically the Christians that ruled that area before the Ottomans. The Ottomans said, go fuck yourself and killed them a lot, with the exception of one very important city, Constantinople. 
So if you click on Constantin open, on there. So this, this is Byzantium. You can click on that little flag because uh, you're looking at the territory view. It shows you Byzantium right there. There's a little flag next to it. You can click on the flag, and that's the diplomacy menu for them. Uh, okay. So this is where you do everything. This is literally the diplomacy screen from Stellaris, but you don't get to see them, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. There's a lot of information here. Uh, feel free to digest as you must. One of the important ones is uh, total amount of soldiers. That's what to be total amount of soldiers is 5k. Oh yeah, that's a very small amount of soldiers. Now here's the thing. Byzantium is shit tier. They should you should be able to kill them quickly and efficiently. The problem is you start off, I believe, with a truce to them, don't you? Truce uh, that's the truce for ending will expire. That would be what? I have some enemies with Karamein, Vince, Pile State, Poland, Mania, Hungarian, Wallace, oh, Siberian. Okay. Okay, so if uh go to diplomacy. I'm on diplomacy still. For the for Byzantium, right? Yeah, I'm still on there, yeah. Click declare war. Oh, okay. We are not declaring war yet. We're looking at the options. So declare war lets you see everything that's about to happen. Now here's the important thing. Do you have a Cassus belly? I have none. Oh, fuck. Okay, so this is an important little screen. Uh, it tells you who would join the battle. Uh, you check your. You can see your forces. You can see their forces. The numbers that uh, make it easiest to tell actually how many people there are is that fourth number, uh, where it says forty k. Yeah. Uh, you can hover over that and see uh, the number that says has this many deployed. That's how many units they have up right now. And then reserve. Okay. And then reserves is basically their manpower. So that's it. So. So here's the thing. You don't have a have a have a cast belly on them. Unfortunately, uh, it's important that you get one. So we're gonna figure out how to do a spy network. So uh, exit out of that and click back into Byzantium. Open your diplomacy with them. Okay. Um, you should see. Uh, I would keep this as close uh, as tidy as you can. So close basically any tabs you have open in that little. Area, see. yeah, in that diplomacy. Okay, so alliance actions you don't got to worry about too much. You can look into these as much as you want on your own time. Uh, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff here that would take a long time to do shit. So we're gonna skip right to what we care about: covert actions. What would be that? It would be in that blue uh, in the list uh, where you could click declare war. Look below it. It should say covert actions. Oh yes, you know. Click that open. Okay. You should have two greens. It says build spy network and counter espionage. I have yet to find a good reason to really do counter espionage. I'm sure there's a good reason. Uh, I just haven't noticed it yet. So we click build spy network. Okay. So you can read that if you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if that information really doesn't change all that much, yeah, or at least not. Athens is their subject. Yes. Okay. Athens is their subject. So. Uh, you can look over to Athens. You can see that that is their subject. Uh, they have the vassal of Athens. They are also they have they hold Constantinople, Corinth, Moria, and Achaea. So, when you go into war with them, you're hopefully taking everything, including Athens. Uh, they're small enough that you should be able to. Uh, so, uh, did you complete building a spy network? Confirm yep, building a spy network. Yeah, dude. Awesome. All right. So. It's not like, well, it's kind of like Stellaris' spy network. Uh, the big thing that's different is uh, when you take away your diplomat, the spy network completely collapses instantly. There is no sleeper cells, that's it. Um, you can do a whole, fun, a whole bunch of nasty things to people. If you'd like, you could go through the covert actions now, and I can tell you a couple of important ones. Covert options. We have, we have convert actions. Covert, yes. Covert. Covert actions just to build stop doing spy network. Okay, so what the what's some important ones? Fabricate claim. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, so hover over that. It should be great. Spider needs to be at least twenty 
Yeah. 20. Yes. So look up in the top right. You see where it says diplomats and it says one of them has like building spy network and then a number uh, or yeah. something like that. Yes. That number is how much spy network you have. Uh, you can treat it kind of like a resource. Um, you need 20 spy network to fabricate a claim. We're going to do that. So as soon as so we need to have time pass, so I'm going to unpause now. Mm. And as soon as you have 20, uh, pause the game if you'd like. Otherwise, I can. And we need to fabricate a claim as quickly as we can on them. Okay? Unpausing. 